Allahi Rahmani Rahim. Good morning, dear students. How are you? Hope all of you are fine by the grace of Almighty. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine. Welcome to our online video class. I hope all of you enjoyed our video class. Dear students, you know my lesson college arranged this video class to continue your study and remain connect with your subjective teacher. I hope you have benefited from our video and Zoom class. This is Sharnaj Parvin, lecturer, Department of Biology, Milestone College, Uttara, Dhaka. Today, I will discuss with you about translation from Chapter 1, Cell and its Structure. We will learn from today's topics. Definition of translation, process or method of translation, difference between transcription and translation, central dogma of biology. Lesson objectives. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to outline the steps in protein synthesis, understand that a strand of DNA is copied by transcription, understand the role of mRNA, know the function of a ribosome in protein synthesis, understand that it is the process of translation that leads to the formation of a new protein, know that the shape of a protein determines its function. The central dogma of genetics. In this slide, you can see the RNA which is produced from DNA by transcription and protein which is produced from RNA or messenger RNA by translation. Genes are simply codes for making polypeptides. DNA is stored in the nucleus. Yet, the polypeptide is produced in the cytoplasm by ribosomes. Messenger RNA is a message from the nucleus to the ribosome, instructions for how to put the polypeptide together. The genetic code is the sequence of bases on messenger RNA. This tells the ribosome which amino acids to use. Before learn the method of translation, we have to know about some organelles, nucleic acid, and codon which is attached to the process of translation so trna or transfer rna it has codon side 3 prime and 5 prime side 3 prime side called is amino acid attachment site transfer rna or trna brings specific amino acids to the ribosomes as dictated by the messenger rna sequence Anticodon region interacts with mRNA or messenger RNA. Ribosome. You already learned about it. It's a small organelles which is found in cytoplasm or attached with endoplasmic reticulum, etc. Ribosome has two subunits. One is large and one, lar uh, one is small subunit. Three groups on the ribosome A, P, and E. A is tRNA binding site, P is polypeptide site, polypeptide bonding site, and E is exit site. DNA base, amino acid, and protein. By transcription, you learn that messenger RNA contains nucleotide. Every three nucleotide base are called triplet, and this triplet is codon. There are four start uh, one start codon and three stop codon among 64 codon. Each individual base triplets are arranged in a specific order for coding for the particular proteins needed by that individual. In this slide, you can see the start codon AUG, that means methionine, and stop codons are UAA, UAG, and UGA. These are stop codon. Where does translation take place? Translation occurs in the cytoplasm, especially at ribosomes. The ribosomes use messenger RNA and tRNA, that means transfer RNA, to make proteins. Introduction The pathway of protein synthesis is called translation because the language of nucleotide sequence on a messenger RNA is translated into the language of an amino acid sequence. The process of translation requires a genetic code through which the information contained in nucleic acid sequence is expressed to produce a specific sequence of amino acids. The process of translation. 
The ribosome moves along the messenger RNA until the second tRNA is in the P site. The next codon to be translated is brought into the uh, into the A site. The first tRNA now occupies the E site. Now we start to learn translation process. First stage is initiation stage. Methionine tRNA binds to starting AUG. The large subunit then clamps on top of all the components with the tRNA at the P site. The second phase or stage is elongation. Ribosome moves three bases along the messenger RNA 5 to 3 prime. tRNA or transfer RNA at P site moves to E site along, along, allowing it to disengage. tRNA complementary to the codon at A site enters. Peptide bonds from between in A and P sites. Process continue many times. Elongation continues. Termination phases. Termination of translation happens when the A site of the ribosome faces a stop codon. When this happens, no tRNA can recognize it, but a releasing factor can re uh, recognize the stop codons and causes the release of pe polypeptide chain. In this slide, you can see the total translation process by an emission. Ribosomal units are attached. There are three groups, E site, P site and A site. tRNA come to the tRNA come with anticodons and attached with mRNA codons and amino acids are attached one after another and finally produce polypeptide bond which is called proteins. Protein synthesis steps in shortly. In shortly we can say a ribosome assembles around the messenger RNA. The ribosome reads the sequence of codons in the messenger RNA and matches a transfer RNA or tRNA molecules to each codon. The ribosome assembles the amino acids brought by the tRNA into a chain. The finished chain of amino acids is a protein. Why proteins are important? DNA, which is code of life or genetic code because it contains the code for each protein. Sequence of DNA nucleotides determines types of protein to be synthesized. Proteins determine how an organism looks and functions. In this slide you can see the difference between transcription and translation. You have to learn it. So, hope all of you are understand today's lecture. If you have any question, ask your subjective teacher. I want to give you a homework. Write down the difference between transcription and translation and submit your WhatsApp group section. Thank you so much for being with me. For today, that's all from my side. See you the next class. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Stay home, stay safe.